We're looking at the uh, base of a plume holder from an enlisted man in General Terry's command. This would be a button from an enlisted man's uniform. And these would be buckles uh, from saddle and uniforms. And this was from when the uh, soldiers were camping here? Yep. After they were chasing In the Indian. 1876 or 7. When did Terry show up here? About 76 or 7. Because I think... Mid-70s, whatever. Custer gets wiped out in 76, and right. I think it took Terry a year to get up here. He was and these were found with a metal detector. Uh, Terry, some of these were found right Michael on the surface. Was trying wow. to run Custer down, yeah. but without Isn't that email amazing? and all the rest yep. of After all, all those years, because these would have been found. No. Be, well, let's see. Mm -hmm. well, you did. 1991. <laughs> yep. So they had been on the ground 110, 15 years. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Is a smattering of various fossils we found on the place, and we're trying to duplicate what you might find as it would appear in the ground. Yeah, as it would appear in the ground. So we've got uh, oh, teeth and claws and uh, a femur and a yeah. This is a femur bone, another part of a femur, vertebrae out of an immature animal or creature, uh, tortoise shell, oysters, more oysters, the garfish scale, so a little bit of everything, a snail. It's nice to see this stuff because when you go out right into now, the... Uh, it gives you a clue into, what to look what for. What you're wanting right. to look for. I don't want to have to go. You got to. Wow. These are all found right here on this ranch. Oh, yeah, yes. they are. Every stinking one of them. Oh, wow. That's how it fits In fact, the family, or family members, oh, we lost a chunk here. Crime moving. Right. Well, anyway, I think some of us participated in every bone in here. We better get more, um... Little, little tiny vertebrae. And we were out today walking around, and we did see a lot of items in the ground. We saw some kind of like this little Yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. yeah. This would be a vertebrae, the horn protective for the backbone. Right. <coughs> yep, it's all out here on the Milk River Ranch. And if you want to hunt dinosaur and dinosaur bones, this is the place to come. Give us a call at 215-651-8329, and uh, we'll set you up. That would have been found across the river and to the west, Bill, out that flat where General Terry stationed his troops. Just laying on the top. That's a pretty good sized bone there. There's yeah, my fist. Was, yeah. Do you know which kind of a dinosaur that came from? I'm going to guess an Albertosaurus or a Myosaurus. Because <laughs> that day would be the most prominent. Okay. Yeah. And what do you have there in the. Okay. The kind of pocked. Here, here, here. That would be tortoise shell. Okay. Uh, let me see. Shark's tooth. Right. Uh, teeth and claws. And if you see serrations on the inner part, that one there, you can see serrations real easy. Yeah. That's a tooth. If they're unserrated, this is a tooth. You can see serrations. If there's no serration, then they're a claw. These little guys, garfish scales. Gosh, you really have to know what you're looking at, don't you? Yeah. Well, uh, the tooth. That's a garfish scale. I just saw National Geographic special. This scale. thing is a little vertebrae, and you can see the hole yep. in the center where the vertebrae went through. Yep. Those babies are very rare to find them. And there's a special name for them. You remember, Julie? What's that? It's a, fish, one, it's a fish vertebrae? Uh, what what kind of vertebrae is that? It's not like there's a special name remember. for it. I can't remember. I can't remember. Hmm. Uh, let me see. What else? 
course, snail, snail, uh, claws, uh, claw, claw. It's an amazing this amount of material. This is the tibia of uh, a turtle, I believe it was. Oh, look at that little snail embedded yep, in there. Yep, yep. Isn't that cool? Yeah. <laughs> Well, you can certainly find There's a lot of things out here. Tooth. Yep, a lot of things are out here to be found in Montana. I'm yelling, isn't that cool? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much. Again, this is Mike, and he's over top of a dinosaur bone find. And you can see the bones going right on down the hill here. And they're spread all out along here. So it might have been quite an extensive dinosaur field right in here. And there's another bone right there just sticking right out of the ground. So if you don't believe that we have it, you you're in for a surprise. It's here. Give us a call. 215-651-8329. There are literally thousands of acres to explore for hunting relics and dinosaur bones. Call us. 215-651-83. There's another bone right there sticking out of the ground. Just walking along here. It's all here. The mineralization of the bone, the colors can change quite significantly from area to area. Does that make sense? Yeah. Depending on the minerals. So, yeah, that's right. See, this is lignite here right now. Well, we're getting into some, yeah. And if you, oh, here's some of that stuff. Michael, if you walk in the milk river, This is the site of a TP ring coming around here. You can just see where the outlines of rocks are coming around. It's about a 28 foot diameter TP ring. And these TP rings, there's 1,100 of them at least on this ranch on our private grounds. And you can explore these TP rings, or if you want to do a dig on a TP ring, you can. We charge a good bit of money for a dig on a teepee ring. But, uh, you know, if you want to find artifacts, this is where to come. These are four foot emerald greens in pots. Just give us a call at 215-651-8329. These are our four foot emerald greens that we have here at Highland Hill Farm. We can deliver and plant these all up and down the East Coast. If you need quick, instant privacy, this is a tree to consider. We also have over here Leland cypresses and green giant arborvitaes, which make great instant privacy. So give us a call at 215-651-8329. These are our Atlas cedars here at Highland Hill Farm. A real nice blue coloring selection of a tree that will grow fairly large, fairly rapidly. It likes moist, well-drained soils, but can take some clays as long as the clays are not like wet, moist, stagnant clays. Well-drained clay will be fine. It's fast-growing. It's been, been noted to be 80 feet by about 25 foot wide. It's a beautiful tree, one you wouldn't want to be without. Next to it right here is our Acker Grissom paperbark maple. And then over here we have a bunch of red maples. These are Japanese red maple blood goods. So give us a call at 215-651-8329. We're here at Highland Hill Farm on Route 313 and Fountain.